honestly, OpenAI themselves probably had no idea what was going to happen as they added more parameters or more processing power to this thing because the transformer technology is well understood. Like it was published and everyone knew about it. But if you just applied the original technology to not the 10,000, you know, A100 NVIDIA chips, right? And I don't know, just maybe a select amount for research purposes, you would not have been able to achieve the same result. And it was not obvious that the progress would be so like nonlinear. Mm-hmm. So I think that for research purposes, people just didn't know and they didn't have the I don't know if you want to call it the vision, the foresight, or maybe just the good luck to put in such a large investment. But now that the large investment has been shown to prove to have good ROI, return on investment, then I think, yeah, it's pretty obvious to me that many companies in China are taking a look and say, oh, that's possible. You know, we could probably figure that out. It's going to take a year or two. I think most people believe the engineering gap is anywhere from six months to two years. I've more heard on the two-year timeline, but this is an engineering problem. This is not a fundamental like science problem that we don't know, that we don't understand, right? We understand how to build this. It's now more about how do we go about and and build this. um, Mm. But this is also compounded by the semiconductors problem that's going on as well for China, right? Because there's a severe limit place Mm -hmm. on the chips. China is probably now about two to three steps behind in terms Mm -hmm. of the hardware side and the development of AI, as you rightly pointed out, will be probably Mm -hmm. like one or two years behind because of unintended consequences. Well, the AI chips people were training on were still available, let's call it last two years. But uh, now in order to get around some of the more advanced chip restrictions, NVIDIA has a separate chip for China, right? So if China gets the A800 instead of the A100, it has slightly different specifications. It it is not as strong, but it's also a little bit cheaper, right? It's like a $10,000 instead of, I think, close to 15 for the A100. Alibaba had thousands of them. Baidu had thousands of them. It's just that these chips, again, You know, until OpenAI came out with it, it wasn't necessarily obvious that this is something you do, right? Mm. Just because you had these chips, by the way, which could be used to train, you know, for training and inference on other things. And, you know, these companies all have their own cloud services, so they do have clients who are also competing to use it. Same thing, by the way, I listened to a podcast on Google Cloud people, there were, or Google AI people, they were saying the same thing. They have to justify why they are taking up these resources away from potential clients who could also be using it for something else and be revenue generating. Honestly, at the end of it, I think it was just, it was not obvious to people that this was a right business decision. Whereas OpenAI was able to, with very little corporate oversight, because they're more of a research organization, they don't have a quarterly PL, no big boss is coming to you and going, why is your Q on Q growth looking so ugly? Why are you taking away resources from our other customers? Without all of these other restraints, they were able to go after a vision and say, we think this is possible. Whereas that's just much harder to do in a corporate organization, I think, with other PL constraints. I mean, the same thing like people ask all the time, like, why didn't Google come up with it? Right. And I think it's there might be, again, I'm not an expert on the Google organization. There might be some cultural elements and whatnot, but I'm sure there are just practical business considerations. You can't let a research project, you know, take up hundreds of millions. Right. I mean, unless it's coming from the very top, like Zuckerberg and Meta with Mm. Reality Labs, but then look at how shareholders reacted. So, you know, it's not an easy decision.